Business items uh, number seven, Franklin Avenue Improvement Project Award, presented by Diana Langley. All right, good evening, Mayor and Council. So we have it for you tonight, the award of the Franklin Avenue Improvement Project. Next slide, Carol. So the project's located on Franklin Avenue between Flora Avenue and Gray Avenue, and includes um, widening the roadway to provide bike lanes and sidewalks. A portion of the project is located in Sutter County along the south side, and so we've already worked out an agreement with Sutter County for reimbursement for the improvements within the county area. Carol, next slide, please. So the city has obtained uh, $376,200 in federal funds through the Congestion Mitigation Air Quality Agreement. Um, as all of you know, when you drive Franklin Avenue, it's in very poor condition right now, and there's some uh, particularly challenging issues for bicyclists and pedestrians. And since this is a main uh, route to UBC High School, we were successful in obtaining a grant to improve the roadways. In addition, some residents within this area are still on sidewalks and wells. And so as part of this project, we'll be stepping out utilities to those properties. So at such time as they're ready to connect, we don't have to dig up the road to then uh, install the, the connections. Cheryl, next slide, please. So the project was put out to bid and we received uh, seven bids. You can see here on the screen that the bid results range from $1,178,000 to $1.62 million. The engineer's estimate was $1,240,000. Next slide, please, Joe. And so a breakdown of the fiscal impact, we have a construction contract for $1,178,000. We're requesting $150,000 in contingency, which equates to about 11%, which I'll address on the next slide. And then construction management uh, costs of $50,000 for total construction costs of $1,378,143.22. You can see by the breakdown of the funding, there's multiple funding sources on this project. So we have CMAC funds, streets and roads funds, CDBG funds as related to the pedestrian improvements water funds for water stub out and then wastewater funds for sewer stub out so at such point as residents connect to the um, lines we would be able to collect some fees and then also we're going to utilize sp1 funds for a portion of the project as well and as noted on the bottom the county will reimburse us up to 122,852 dollars for work within the existing county right of way next slide please Cheryl. So the reason the step is requesting a contingency of 11% is that um, there are some variables, particularly with this project, you have an original concrete roadway that lies under existing Franklin Avenue. That can always be problematic when you have an old concrete street. Uh, potential conflicts, conflicts with many utilities and the construction and tying of utilities with the properties. Next slide, please. So with that, the staff recommendation to adopt a resolution awarding a construction contract to Darren Taylor Construction of Anderson, California, in amount of their bid and authorize the city manager to execute the contract on behalf of the city, subject to review and approval as to legal form by the city attorney. And with that, I'd be happy to answer any questions. All right, no questions from the council. Do we have any public comment? No comments have been received. All right. Absent any comments from the public or council, I will entertain a motion. Through the mayor. Yes. I'd like to make a motion to, I uh, lost my, okay, to adopt a resolution awarding a construction contract to Darren Taylor Construction Inc. of Anderson, California, and the amount of their total bid of 1.2, 1. 1.1 million. $178,143.22, authorizing the city manager to execute the contract on behalf of the city, subject to review and approval as to legal from by the city attorney. Second. The first and second to approve staff recommendation. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And opposed? None. Thank you very much.